Hi, Tom Lynch here in the studio getting ready for one of my online classes. I'm having a ball teaching the online class and you know I know you might like a live in-person class where we have a chance to see each other but there's several advantages you know to the online class that doesn't always take place you know in the personal one-to-one -one in a workshop format. I can do some great close-ups, I can give you an overhead camera view, I can take you right in there close you know for the finished painting and if we're going to talk about you know focal point and or that sunlight coming through the trees and notice those little nuances of color and value change and so forth boy the uh, online format is great for that also once we're done with the class you're able to watch the rerun boy i wish i had a rerun because i was in class and feverishly writing some notes and i missed half of it because i didn't look up now you can press stop and pause and rewind and see that brush stroke again i've even got students that are you know broadcasting it on their smart tv so it can enlarge the image as well so those are a couple of the extras that i think the online format will really kind of really get in close and help you with something that you might have missed in a regular workshop. So the online class is good, but I'm teaching a couple of different types of online classes and let me explain those. Now, one of them is specialty techniques. The beauty of that, we're not worried about a finished painting. We're just practicing, you know, some different techniques. And so I have several, you know, visual guides I'll take you through. And if you want to learn, we have, a, and they're all different. You know, each particular, you know, month, there might be a different description. We might do mountains, and I just did one on, you know, waterfalls. And so here is where I can just play with some of the nuances, give you all of this, you know, technical information. There's some about the generality of, of watercolor painting. I did one on how to think, you know, like an artist recently. I've done one on, you know, composition where I'm showing the same scene in several different ways. So the idea behind that, again, is just loose sheets of paper. And I'm not only showing you one way. If I'm doing rocks, I'm going to share with you how to capture rocks with design and, or rocks with a particular theme like texture and roughness and rocks that have layers so I'm showing with that particular title a couple of different ways to paint each of the items that you might see you know clouds skies and sunsets probably one that's coming up soon and I'll show several different types of cloud formats when and why to have a cloud at the same time so you'll you'll get some ideas on how we might relate to a finished painting I'll bring out a finished painting as I you know, did in this particular class when we're talking about, you know, rocks and waterfalls and how to get them to merge together so they don't look like they're, you know, cut out and pasted on and, you know, when and where to have some of the white space. As I said, bring you in close and notice some of the little subtle little color changes and how that, you know, rough edge and the blending might be and the spray bottle, you know, with the waterfall as well. So there's a description or a name of one for you called Specialty Techniques just playing with just some of the aspects. Then I'll show you a painting on how I might have used one of those particular techniques on a finished painting. But it's not about finished paintings. But there is a class that is on finished paintings. So this is a one, a two, or a four-day workshop. So, for example, I will tell uh, you in a particular class that we're going to deal with a scene you know, a, say a mountain river or a, a forest river. And I'm going to take not only and just do the painting, but before I do the finished painting, I'm going to send to you several different composition. You could do it as a, a horizontal, so you're not locked in. You could do it with more forest and less rocks, and you could do it with a, a whole lot of rocks and less of the forest. Um, I think that's the one that I probably use. I will send to you a photograph reference. I will send to you, uh, here was even the color sketch that I used as a guide. And I'll share with you how that's going to relate to the final painting. But in that one day workshop, in the first three hours, so a couple of the classes it's in one day, so like a morning session, we'll practice the parts and again, each particular part, I'll give you a couple of different ways in which they can be done. For example, I'll share with you, you know, branches and trees, how we can handle them. 
different types of brush strokes, what colors to use. Uh, if it has a leaf dominant, you know, format with a whole bunch of leaves there, we'll share with you that. If we're going to deal with a couple of different ways, so those are two different ways of doing, you know, even the pine trees in that class. I did the same thing, you know, for the rocks as well. So I'll break down for three hours the parts of the painting, then take a lunch break or uh, come back, and then we will deal with putting the parts together. Now we'll talk about focal point and unity and how I might adjust those particular tree techniques to relate to the focal point and how I might handle the rocks farther away from the focal point compared to handling the rocks as they come closer to the focal point. So then we'll deal with you know a finished painting. And I paint the painting in stages. So step one, practice just this, and I'll take a look at what you have, offer some suggestions if you need, move on to, to step two, whether I might deal with the light value layer or the dark value layer. So we'll learn how to build a painting after we've had a chance to practice the parts. And so here was a, you know, a finished painting. And again, the beauty of the online, you can see the uh, photo reference, you can see the actual sketch, and then you can build the painting with me, and you can do it in your own particular way. You might have your own you know, scene of this forest river that you wanna work on. I'll have a chance to look on that and offer some suggestions. So that is that one or two day or four day workshop where I share with you how to practice the parts, then develop a painting, but I do it slowly and help you learn at the same time. So that's one of the classes. So you have the specialty technique classes, and then you have the workshop painting class, one, two, or three days. And then there's another class that's a lot of fun. Uh, I do this every third month or so. It's a visual critique class. Now, what does that mean? So instead of just having you submit a painting and I talk about, well, if you just did this over here and you made that change over there, it doesn't really, I think, have a visual impact. So what I do is I have the students submit to me, you know, some of their uh, actual uh, paintings. I do a color printout and then I paint on the color printout. So I felt this particular uh, image was what they sent to me. I printed it out talked about what was needed, brought in a couple of charts, and then I painted on this printout so that you could see the before and after. So I felt that particular scene needed improvement, you know, of the design and a little bit of the theme. Uh, here's an example of one where I felt the focal point needed improvement. And so I showed, here's how it would look with the focal point. Here's where you were. We chose an area and incre increased those particular aspects needed. How about a little stronger feeling of depth? So the painting isn't bad, but I think it could become even more interesting if I frame that focal point with a nice value change from the front different than the back, or here I improve the horizontal plane. And so I'll have a series of visual critique classes where I have it, you submit a painting. I do a color, not the actual painting, submit a picture, email me a picture of the image that you'd like to have some conversation about. And the point there is to how we could make it more visually attractive for a viewer to look longer. It wasn't about rights and wrongs. I'm not again about rights and wrongs when I'm working on a painting with a student, but if we did this or if we did that, the viewer would want to look longer, become more attached to the painting, and that's what it is all about. So there are pretty much three different formats you know, of classes, whether you want to learn about techniques, you want to know how to build a painting in one day, or the four-day class, I might talk a little bit more about how to think like an artist and do color preliminaries and value studies and so forth, and I work a little bit more individually with the subject matter you want to work on, whereas the one-day class, you see where I'm going, and I take you gradually step-by-step step to get there. So I hope you join me in an online class because there's a lot of benefit. I'd like to be with you live there someday, but also if you really want to stay home and relax at your own environment, have your particular painting pace, you could go as fast as you want or as slow as you want. I'll keep you challenged, I'll keep it fun, and I'll help Im improve the end result. And so that's got to make you feel good and that's what I want to do. So if you like color and contrast, if you're interested in a lot of detail, I might not be the best one for you, but 
kind of representational art that's exciting to look at, then join me for an online workshop. Take a look at my website, TomLynch.com. There's different ones every month. You can even offer some suggestions. Hey, I need a class on night scenes, someone suggested. So a couple months from now, I'm going to have a one-day workshop on night scenes or a specialty technique class on night scenes. So thanks for taking a minute of your time and hearing about my online classes. I hope you join me. I'm having a lot of fun. The best part, you've got you know, a couple different camera angles. You'll see me and I can see you if you want to show what you're doing. So that's what I'm all about is trying to help you and have more fun along the way. See you in class soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Good.